her, her latest album, which is now what about a year old, I think, or a year and a half old. It is. I'll show it to you at the end of the uh, set. But um, she originally grew up in BC, Vancouver Island, and you might remember her from Spirit of the West. Uh, this is the one I'm going to Spirit of the West. And she left for left for the South a while ago, and she now lives in a beautiful house with her husband James in Nashville. Travels out from there, and about eight months ago. When I was just forming this show in my head, I found out that she was going to be doing a tour at the end of the year, and I, I asked, and in my, I had my fingers crossed in my mind, and said, will you be coming through Toronto? She said, yes. What about this date? And she said, yes. And so after I cleaned myself up with a handy wipe, I was very... I was drooling, because think what you like. I'm lonely. No. When I heard she was going to be coming through town, it made my heart sore because I love this woman. And I would very, very happy, very happy to introduce for, it looks like, perhaps our last performance of the night, all the way from Nashville, Linda McCray. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, and oh my God. Now I know how Luther felt <laughs> following that last thing. Uh, amazing. Well, I got to see Tom Waits a few years ago in Vancouver, uh, where I'm from. And oh my God, it was one of the best shows I've ever seen. And uh, this has just been such an amazing night. Everything's been so amazing. It's wonderful hearing everyone's interpretations of all these great songs. So I'm going to do a couple for you. Uh, this one goes like this. Try 
Honey, I think I'm happy for the first time since my accident. Sure wish I had all the money we used to spend on dope. <laughs> I'd buy my used car lot and I wouldn't sell any of them. I'd just drive a different car every day, depending on how I feel. Charlie, for Christ's sakes, if you want to know the truth of it, I don't have a husband, he don't play the trombone, I need to borrow money to pay this lawyer, and Charlie, hey, I'll be eligible for parole come Valentine's Day.